Hi, I'm Brent, you're watching Team Culture. Something fishy going on today, stay tuned. Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Steam Culture. Welcome back to our longtime viewers. We appreciate you. If you're not a longtime viewer, click that subscribe button so that each Friday we can send you a new Steam Culture. Well, I said we we're gonna be talking about fish today. Can fish, to be extremely particular. Now, how's the fish get in the can? Well, I'm sure there's some large factories with robots throwing tuna, in this case, in this can. But in the late 1800s, people did it. A lot of people, because with the invention of pasteurization, and the Industrial Revolution, canneries started popping up, fish canneries, all along the West Coast, from California all the way up to Oregon. About the 1940s, it was at a real peak, and then started to decline up into the 60s when bigger factories started to take over. But some remnants in history have been left behind. So all up and down the coastline, there are some old independent fisheries still sitting there, and in this case, the boiler. Now this is the White Star Cannery Boiler in Astoria, Oregon. And what happened is the cannery, eventually I think there was a fire, they totaled the building, but they left the boiler sitting there on the piers and it's become a, a landmark. For sure in 2015, they made sure that the boiler wasn't going anywhere because they make it a historic landmark, at least locally. I don't think it's a national landmark, but it is a local landmark. And it's very popular with amateur photographers and professional photographers. They go take pictures of the boilers you can see here. It kind of makes for a very cool picture. So I wanted to tell you about some steam tourism. Go to Astoria, Oregon, or Oregon, as my dad says. It's Oregon, Dad. And go check out the White Star Cannery Boiler. Before you do that, check us out online. We got great content each and every week. You can catch Steam Culture every Friday. You can see all of our other videos, but you can catch a boiling point too. That'll make it really smart. Trust me on that one. Tune in next Friday. See you then.